Okay, so all right, so I'm here to kind of walk you through on how to make a playlist. Um, so when you bring up iTunes, uh, it should look like this. Um, over here on the left side, uh, we have our nice little music, movies, TV, podcasts, but we're just going to focus on the music part of this. Um, if you come down to the library, just below the library, you're going to see music playlists. Uh, over here, you'll just right click and then you're going to add a new playlist. We're going to call this the uh, JJ Heller playlist for now um, because what we're going to do is we're going to add all these songs to this playlist. All right. So if you click on the first song, hold shift, and then go down to the last song, you can select them all. And then you're just going to click and drag all these into the playlist. All right. Now that we did that, we should just be able to click on this one playlist, and it's right there. We have all of our all 11 songs ready to go. Now for the part where we hook up our phone and add um, this playlist to our phone. So I just hooked up my phone. Yes, continue. Trust. There we go. All right. So now that I have my phone cook, hooked up, I should get the phone icon here soon. There it is. Uh, I'll do that later. All right. All right. So now that we're in our phone section, we're going to go over here to music under settings. And then here it says sync music. So we're going to click on sync music. Usually it's going to have entire music library, but we're not going to do that. We're going to select a playlist. So make sure this is selected. Uh, make sure if you don't want to include videos, unselect that. Uh, you don't include voice memos, unselect that. Automatically fill free space with songs, unselect that. Otherwise it'll just, it's just going to fill up your phone like none other. Um, so we're going to go over here down to our playlist and we're going to click JJ Heller. Because uh, that's the new playlist that we just added. And then we're going to hit Apply. And then it's asking me, seeking iTunes will replace me. Uh, yeah, so if, if you get this, just go ahead and sync or in place. And then that's going to sync and back up everything from your iPhone to onto your computer as well. And then while that's doing that, it's going to add the music to your phone. So it'll probably take five, 10 minutes, depending on how much music you have um, uploading onto uh, your phone. Uh, so, but the first step to this whole process is going to be making a playlist first, adding your music to it. And you can always search for certain songs too by going up to the search tab and then typing in um, the band name or what genre or something like that. Um, so I think it's going to be band name or or album name or song, whichever one, and then just dragging and dropping that music into that playlist. So, so I'm just going to wait for this to go ahead and shoot through and I'll cut back to the end of it and make sure that everything is actually up and synced to my phone. All right, so this is the part so, so that's the end of its updating. Uh, now we'll have a section down here in the audio with 21 songs. Uh, so, so it should be uploaded onto my phone. Uh, now I'll look on my phone and just double check and see that I do have a JJ Hiller playlist um, and whatnot. Uh, but there was a last section that was downloading here, it's, it was basically showing names of songs, and that's when it's uploading those songs onto your phone. So um, other than that, after it's uh, done, 
you should be all set. If you wanted to, you could always have multiple playlists um, on to your phone. And even if they have the same songs as one playlist in another playlist, it won't double download the songs or anything. It'll just take that information and say, oh, it's also in this playlist as well. So anyways, I hope the video helps out and uh, that you're able to, yeah, get um, music onto your phone. All right. See you later.